12 Main Symptoms of Prediabetes and How You Can Reverse Them Have you ever stopped to think that at this very moment, your body may be trying to warn you about something? You may be experiencing some changes, but not paying much attention to them. I'm talking about the signs that indicate your blood sugar is higher than it should be. Yes, you could be pre-diabetic. Now, why should you be concerned about pre-diabetes? Well, here's an alarming fact. One in four people with pre-diabetes end up becoming diabetic within five years, according to a study with heart attack victims. People with pre-diabetes have a 25% higher chance of suffering a heart attack. Can you believe that in the United States alone, about 40 million people are pre-diabetic? What's even more shocking is that 90% of them often confuse the symptoms with minor health issues and thus ignore the signs for months and even years. But look, diabetes is no joke. Detecting and treating it early can be the key to avoiding serious complications such as nerve problems, kidney diseases, heart issues, and even blindness. In today's video, you'll discover the 12 most common symptoms of prediabetes and stay tuned until the end because some of them will surprise you. And that's not all. I'll give you a golden tip. Seven steps you can follow to reverse pre-diabetes. Before we proceed, this video is for educational purposes only and does not replace specialized medical guidance or treatment. Okay, so let's get into the video. Pre-diabetes symptom number 12, slightly elevated blood sugar. Let's start with the basics. Pre-diabetes is when your blood sugar is higher than it should be. Translating this into numbers means that when you take that fasting blood test, the result falls between 100 and 125 mg per deciliter. Additionally, the hemoglobin A1c, another indicator, ranges between 5.7 and 6.4%. You might have heard of impaired glucose tolerance or impaired fasting glucose, other names for the same thing, prediabetes. But regardless of the title, the important thing is to keep an eye on it and take care of your health. Prediabetes symptom number 11, slow healing wounds. Have you ever noticed that a simple cut or scrape takes longer than expected to heal? Well, that could be a sign of prediabetes. When blood sugar is slightly elevated, it can affect small blood vessels, impairing circulation. Consequently, even minor wounds can take a long time to improve. So if you notice your wounds taking longer to heal, it's a good idea to pay attention and consult with a doctor. Pre-diabetes symptom number 10, unexplained fatigue. You know those days when you feel exhausted even without engaging in intense physical activity? Well, that could be a sign of pre-diabetes. When a person has pre-diabetes, their body starts to have difficulty using insulin correctly. This means that blood sugar isn't being converted into energy as it should. So, even if you've slept well and haven't run a marathon, you may feel as if you have this unexplained fatigue. It's a warning to stay vigilant. Pre-diabetes symptom number 9, excessive hunger and weight gain. You know that feeling of never-ending desire and suddenly you realize you've gained a few pounds? Well, pre-diabetes may be behind that. When blood sugar is high, the body struggles to use it as energy, leading to increased hunger. And this insulin resistance causes the body to store the extra sugar as fat. It's a seemingly endless cycle. Interestingly, studies show that those who have the habit of staying up late and not getting enough rest tend to gain more weight. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Losing just a bit of weight, around 5-10% to 10 of your total weight, can help lower your blood sugar levels. Prediabetes symptom number 8, sudden mood swings. Have you had those days when, for no apparent reason, you feel more anxious and irritable or can't concentrate? Well, blood sugar plays a role in how our brain functions. It needs a certain amount of glucose, and when that amount is above average, it can make us more restless, anxious, and unfocused. The good news is that when blood sugar levels return to normal, these symptoms tend to disappear. If you notice these mood changes for no reason, it could be a sign to pay attention to your glucose levels. Pre-diabetes symptom number 7, tingling sensation in hands and feet. Have you ever felt a tingling or numbness in your hands and feet without doing anything unusual? Pre-diabetes could be responsible for that. Research indicates that even before developing type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes can affect nerves and cause this strange sensation. Many people who experience tingling sensations discover they have pre-diabetes, and the reverse is also true. Many pre-diabetics feel these symptoms. Pre-diabetes symptom number six, frequent urination and excessive thirst. Have you ever felt like going to the bathroom several times and even drinking water doesn't quench your thirst? This could be a sign of having too much sugar in your blood. The kidneys, sensing this excess, try to eliminate the sugar through urine. As a result, you end up going to the bathroom more often and you feel thirstier. It's another cycle that seems never ending. Now, a curiosity, if you love your coffee or tea, you might notice that you go to the bathroom more frequently due to caffeine. But if that's not the case and you find yourself urinating too much, it could be a pre-diabetes alert. Pre-diabetes symptom number five, persistent joint pains. 
Have you experienced joint pains without knowing the reason? Prediabetes could be the culprit. Many prediabetic individuals are overweight, putting extra strain on their joints, especially those in the lower part of the body. This can increase the risk of problems like arthritis. In fact, a recent CDC study showed that about 32% of adults with prediabetes also have arthritis, and many of them are either overweight or sedentary. So if you've been feeling joint pains and are overweight or inactive, it's a good idea to pay attention and seek medical guidance. Prediabetes symptom number four, indigestion and stomach discomfort. You know those days when your stomach feels bloated, you have gas, feel full quickly, or even experience heartburn. It could be another sign of prediabetes. Researchers have found that these symptoms are more common, common in people with prediabetes. Surprisingly, high blood sugar can affect a nerve called the vagus nerve. This nerve controls stomach emptying, and when it's not working correctly, food stays in the stomach longer than it should, causing a condition called gastroparesis. If you notice these digestive issues frequently and they're not related to what you ate, it is a good idea to talk to a doctor. Prediabetes symptom number three, skin changes. Have you noticed any dark areas on your skin, like on the back of your neck, armpits, or groin, resembling velvety patches? This is a sign called acanthosis nigricans and can be an indicator of insulin resistance and prediabetes. Additionally, skin tags, small growths of skin that appear on eyelids, neck, armpits, and groin, can be a sign that your blood sugar is elevated. If you notice these skin changes, it's a good idea to consult with a dermatologist or general practitioner to understand better what's happening. Prediabetes symptom number two, attention to the kidneys. Did you know that prediabetes can affect your kidneys? Many people with prediabetes unknowingly have a condition called chronic kidney disease, CKD. In a comprehensive study, it was found that over one third of people with prediabetes already showed signs of this kidney disease. What's even more concerning is that the stage of kidney disease in these individuals is similar to those tending towards diabetes, reaching stages three or four. Stage five is the most critical where a person may need dialysis or even a kidney transplant. Prediabetes symptom number one, blurry vision. Have you ever experienced moments when everything seems a bit blurry as if you're looking through a dirty glass? Well, prediabetes could be the cause. Elevated blood sugar can make a part of the eye called the lens swell, making it difficult to focus. Worse yet, this can increase the risk of more serious vision problems like retinopathy. But here's the good news. This blurry vision usually improves when blood sugar levels return to normal. So, if you notice this symptom, it's essential to see an ophthalmologist and also check your glucose levels. And now, what can we do to reverse prediabetes? The steps to combat prediabetes and type 2 diabetes are the same. So here we go. Step number one, say no to sugar. Reduce added sugar consumption and your body will thank you. Step number two, healthy eating. Prefer natural whole foods and avoid ultra-processed ones. Nature provides all the good stuff. Step number three, essential nutrients. Consume foods rich in dietary fiber. Omega-3 fatty acids, alpha-lipoic acid, berberine, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin D3. They are true allies for your health. Step number four, move. A brisk 30-minute walk a day can work wonders, and you don't need to be an athlete. The important thing is to move. Step number five, sleep well. A good night's sleep is crucial. Maintain a routine and create an environment conducive to rest. Step number six, emotional balance. Manage stress and keep your hormones, including insulin, balanced. Take deep breaths. Meditate and do what makes you feel good. Step number seven, monitor your progress. Measure your progress regularly. If you liked this video, hit like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Oh, and remember to hit the bell icon so you can get all the updates. Thank you for watching until the next video.